Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, very good morning and welcome to this session. Today, we are going to be talking about Reshi writing. As most of you would know, a very key component of your descriptive English paper. And uh, kind of tricky because you need to have certain basics of your English sorted out. Hello, Kumar. Hi. Hello, Sohan. Chaudhary. Welcome. All those who are watching, just give me a hi, hello on the comments box uh, so that I know that you're getting my voice. Hi, Chaitanya. Okay, just let me know. Just give me a hi, hello on the box if uh, you're getting my voice and you're able to see the screen. Hi, Aryan. Welcome. Welcome to the session, everyone. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be talking about Pressy writing today. We are going to initially check some of the concepts, certain core elements that are required uh, to do a good Pressy. And then we'll do a couple of practice sets as well. Okay. Hi, Rohan. Welcome. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for the confirmation. Hi, Dhyanchan. Great. Good to have all of you in class. Okay. All right. So let us uh, start with Pressy writing. But before that, let's <laughs> let's have a small introductory session. Now, when it comes to Pressy writing, all of you know the theory, right? That roughly you will have to reduce the passage by one to one third of its size. That is the game that we are playing here. So what I want uh, all of you to do, or all of you who are watching, is enter your strategy. What do you do in order to write something in a concise manner? What do you do? And then you'll be able to see in the comments box all the other strategies of students. So it will be a very good collection of different strategies that you can borrow and take as well. And of course, I'll tell you uh, a very good approach that I take and with something that you can use. But you can also see what everyone else is doing, what you're doing, cross check with others. So just, just let me know. What do you do? How do you approach this? Do you underline certain keywords and then put them all together? Or do you pick every alternate sentence and then uh, try to create a passage from that, from those sentences? What kind of an approach do you have? Now, as you keep typing on the comments box, as you keep typing on the good Chaitanya, make point-wise notes and then uh, summary of the points. Good, good Chaitanya. OK, so what I'm going to do is as as all of you keep giving your ideas, I will also give certain concepts side by side and then we will have this process running simultaneously. See, the first thing uh, is this is the very basic concept, right? You have to reduce the passage by one third. That is the idea here. A very critical component is to get the main message of the author. OK, so you have to remove whatever is unnecessary, whatever is superfluous, and you will have to arrive at the main message. OK, what is that underlying point that the author is trying to make? OK, so uh, a fun example that I give while explaining this is that if you've seen a cricket match, OK, if you've seen a cricket match, you can describe every single ball that happened. The first ball was left by the batsman. The second ball, a single was taken. The third ball, a wicket fell. The fourth ball, a six was hit. You can describe everything, tell the total score of the first team. Then you can say how much the second team made. Then you can say which team won. You can say that entire story. Or you can simply summarize the entire event in one sentence. Can you do it? All cricket fans would uh, like to do it. I can describe the entire scene. Or you can summarize it in one sentence. Can you summarize the entire match in one sentence? Can you give me an example? Say, if you remember the India New Zealand World Cup semi final, okay, a lot of events happened, a lot of dramatic events with Jadeja and Dhoni, a uh, very close finish. But then, if you have to leave all that and just get to the point straight away, how would you write that entire match? Just give it to me in one sentence. Meanwhile, I'll just read other points. Sohan Chaudhary, think about the topic for a while and then take the points. Good. Rohan, try to read everything, make short notes. OK, good. Quickly tell me. The, the rule of the game here is to get to the point. OK, so that is, that is what I am trying to drive home with this particular example. You know the entire match. Summarize it in one sentence. Try to give it to me in one sentence. Let's see who can do it. Yes. Sohan, India lost due to the rain. Chaitanya, India beat Pakistan by 10 wickets, leading the five match series. There you go. Result, declaring match result is one way. Good, Rohan. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Correct. Others, I hope you're getting the point. You can simply summarize the whole match by saying New Zealand beat India by 20 runs. Okay. India beat Pakistan by five wickets. 
that's it right you summarize the entire match now if you have to make it bigger you will probably talk about the top performer right if you have to make that particular explanation even bigger then you will talk about few of the other events that happened and then if you want the complete passage you will open up every single ball right so how did you open up you opened up with the main message the result yes now just uh, type with you if you are with me here okay just type with you if you are able to understand this the smallest and the core message the result of the match if you to make it bigger you spoke about the main main player the key player who performed well the man of the match then to make it even bigger maybe you spoke about two three more players some major, some events some milestones that were touched and then if you have to write the entire passage then you go ball by ball this is how step by step you made it bigger right that is how pressy writing is also played you have the main message you have the full passage with uh, a detail of every single ball of the 50 overs if you have to write in a very short manner pick up the result if you can write a little more the man of the match if you can write a little even more then two three more players okay that is how you will build it based on the word limit that is the entire game just think of it this way now <clears throat> what would be the main message so here i said the main message is the result of the game okay now in a passage it may not be that easy right so in a, in a cricket example maybe all of you picked it up easily okay but in an example of a passage where a lot of points are mentioned how do you arrive at the main passage that one is it comes by practice as you see more passages second is there would be certain superfluous sentences that you can identify immediately okay some additional examples that are given some unnecessary comparisons that are made just to elaborate all those you can eliminate check the main point the main message what is the author trying to drive home pick that up that is your result sentence the india beat new zealand by so many wickets your that sentence okay then if you have word limit then go on to the man of the match and the other players okay now and avoid unnecessary examples analogies it's very important <coughs> now the the fifth point very very important point and a common mistake if the passage if the passage is about 50 overs of how uh, just fact of what happened during the game can you say that i feel uh, ravindra jadeja has a bright future can you write that in your pressy tell me you have 50 overs of just fact about this is what happened in the game the ball was bowled the ball was hit this is the score these are the runs okay can you in your pressy then give an opinion that he has a bright future or this person should be dropped this person should be taken into the team can you write all that by the way good kumar your previous sentence was good yeah <clears throat> can you write it now tell me why you can't write it who can tell me why you can't write it so basically why can't you write your opinion in your pressy why do you think you cannot write your opinion in your pressy yeah all of you you're right kumar sohan chaitanya yes aspirant 2020 yeah we we just got started it's not an event okay so chaitanya says it's not an event so we can't write that very close chaitanya yes almost there what else we are already on the word limit very good rohan very good kumar see a pressy is just a summary of the main passage okay so you are just working like a machine here who will just reduce the passage you don't have any thinking of your own okay that is how you are going to work when pressy writing comes up you just have to summarize it so you're going to pick up the main points summarize and then give it to the examiner okay no adding your own opinion there the moment you add your opinion it's no longer pressy you've written something else from the main passage okay not allowed you will lose your scores how how can you check because sometimes what happens is that the lines are so fine that you might express something that you don't even realize is your op opinion okay <clears throat> like for example if everything is about 50 overs of fact and then if i say ravindra jadeja who is known for his hard hitting abilities played really well that day okay now who is known for his hard hitting abilities is suddenly a new information that i am introducing right it may not be given in the passage but it is pretty fine so it's very difficult to identify whether who is known for his hard hitting abilities uh, is my opinion or is it something that i'm taking from the passage straight away right because i am writing in flow a good way to check this is see whether whatever you've written in the pressy there is evidence of that in the main passage okay just type clear if you are understanding this point whatever you write in the pressy the evidence of that should be in the main passage so if i read your pressy if i pick any sentence 
it will of course be reworded it will be paraphrased but if i check the main passage i'll be able to find that fact written did you understand what i'm saying just like clear if you're understanding this it's very important okay this is a good way to check where you stand this will tell you that okay i have inserted an opinion by mistake i should remove this sentence okay very important all right good good all of you all those who are understanding good okay the last one it is just uh, another version of point number 5 is do not add any kind of remark whether positive or negative so opinion does not mean uh, a neutral one or presenting your side of things usually even if there is something given in the passage do not boost it or do not pull it down okay don't add any kind of remark as such don't take sides if the author has taken a side shown a bias stick to that flow itself don't go uh, don't drift from that okay now uh, what we are going to do is this is these are some of the concepts that we discussed about basic points yes okay till now just type okay okay on the comments box if you are okay till now very easy straightforward conceptual points yes just give me a quick okay and then what we are going to do include one yes we will do one example also as per in 2020 we will do an example as well okay okay with the uh, basics first either way is good rohan but it is uh, suggested that you use more of past tense okay good good all right so now what we are going to do is we are going to learn certain structures certain certain coherent devices now in your uh, from the passage when you want to reduce something into one thirds of its size you need to use certain structures okay these are basically called correlated correlating conjunctions that will reduce the size of your sentence so even if you want to express the same thing with these structures you'll be able to make it shorter okay now these are a few examples there are a lot more you can even check your uh, so let us start one by one first is while x y okay these are a few structures that you can learn straight away very very quickly while x y so when do you think while x y is used when do you think this structure is used say for example while i was studying i got a call an example good kumar pressy should always be in your own words okay you can borrow the some key terms technical ones but you should uh, you should write in your own words yes aspirant 2020 very good you should shrink it remove examples and unnecessary things examples of it is very important and if you have word limit then you can write otherwise not recommended okay now tell me while x y when can you write use this particular structure now these structures you can employ in your pressy easily and you can reduce the size without much of thinking okay these are some of the tools that you can employ so tell me when can you use this while the government was taking a lot of action to combat the covid-19 pandemic there was a gas leak in another part of the country okay yeah so when do you use this while the government was tackling the situation there was another uh, problem that uh, came up in the form of a gas leak okay yes rohan it said it is in the form of a comparison yeah Can we go line by line and reword in our own words? So, aspirant, if you go line by line and reword in your own words, you'll end up writing more. So, you have to understand the passage and then try to shrink it. Okay? When you understand the passage, you know which is irrelevant and which is relevant. Yeah. See, you will use while x y when two things are happening simultaneously. Okay? So, while the government was tackling this, some other event happened. So, while x is going on, while this is going on, y happened. okay so while x y okay all this particular structure you just type while x y on the comments box if you understood this structure and then we'll move on but we'll do this very quickly because all this we've co covered in the conjunctions lesson so we'll just move quickly but it will be a quick recap session for you okay next is though x y okay though x y you can use in multiple formats so that you can reduce uh, your words now what are these what are these items though x y even though x y although x y you can use all the three variants okay all the three mean the same so don't get uh, confused uh, among these three you can just interchange them okay you should also interchange them because in the first part of your pressy if you are using though something and you are writing don't repeat though all the time at least say although even though and play around with it 
So because if you're using this, going to this particular contrast, and this is used for contrast, very simple, right? Though the government is taking a lot of initiatives, comma, the COVID-19 situation does not seem to die down. Okay, a contrast that's going on. Okay, but when you have to express multiple sentences with contrast, you're going to use though, you're going to use even though, and you're going to use although. You're going to use all the three. Okay, only when you use all the three, you will get, your, there is a better chance for you to get your score. Now, why is that? Why should you use all three and not just one? Because all the three impart the same meaning. So why do you think we should use all the three here and there, you know, spread it across and not simply use the same structure again and again? Who can tell me this? Someone who has uh, gone through the exam notification in detail will be able to tell. And if I have to give you another hint, this is basically uh, when when uh, the parameters for descriptive English is given, it is said that you will be checked on your content on the knowledge side and on the expression side. Yes, how many of you have seen that? That descriptive English checks your content and your expression. Right. So good. So when it checks your expression, OK, the more variation you have, in your sentences, you will be able to communicate to the examiner that yes, I can express this language in a nice fancy way. Okay, that will help you. So therefore, you should have a good range of these structures. Don't just have five, six structures, one for contrast, one for adding info, one for uh, showing uh, one event happening over the other. Don't just have one, have two, three options and then play around with it. Okay, very quickly, let's proceed forward. Next, you have not only X, but also Y. Here it is basically same thing. Okay. Not only is the government doing this, but it is also doing that. Okay. Not X, but Y. I think the government should not focus on this, but on this. Okay. So don't do X, rather do Y. That's the emphasis. Next, neither X, Y, no, both of them are not preferred and is a very simple one, but use it. Okay. Use it consciously and either X, Y, you're using an option. There are some more here. Now, these are called linking words. Okay. Now, what happens is the passage has the freedom of words. So, the passage is going to go and talk about it in a very elaborate manner. But when you're talking about um, the pressy, you have to give the pressy a direction. Okay. So, if you have to give the pressy a particular direction, then you need to insert certain words that indicate direction. Okay. The, are you... Are you all understanding till this point what's going on? Just that clear on the box if you're able to understand what's going on here. Okay, see. The first one is say firstly, secondly, thirdly, whenever you're coming across a list, when you have to build a list and you're giving multiple points, please use them. Firstly, this is good. this is the thing. Then this one. Thirdly, this one. Okay, then you can use for example, therefore, hence, because, resulting in. Okay, all these words will indicate where you are moving. Okay, instead of, in spite of, whereas, as soon as, on the other hand, on the contrary, all these will take you to where you're going. Okay, last slide, uh, Kumar, okay, this one, but don't worry, Kumar, this will anyway be there as a recording, right? So, don't worry about it, okay? You're, nobody, you're not missing anything, don't worry, okay? All right, now, the, uh, these are some of the linking words that we talked about that you should use. Why? So that you indicate direction. Good. Uh, Raj, Aspirant 2020, Sohan, Kumar, all of you are getting where, where, I'm, where I'm going. Okay. Now, another important point is that if your vocabulary is good, it will help you in your pressy writing. Okay. It will help you in multiple ways. Now, look at this particular example. Now, if you have a passage where there is a discussion of a problem, okay. And that it says that the, uh, the that particular problem is slow, it is steady, and eventually it does a lot of damage. Okay, say for example the disease of cancer. All right, it is slow, it's steady, and then slowly it does a lot of damage. Okay, so if you know one word that can precisely convey this meaning, then you're going to score very well in pressing. For example, if you say that uh, the problem of cancer is insidious, insidious means something that is slow, steady, but creates a lot of harm, okay? On the contrary, it's uh, simply uh, an opposite, uh, Ruhi. Just like how you're using however, though, even though. Okay, it's like saying, 
uh, this particular state is uh, doing a lot of work to combat COVID-19. On the contrary, that particular state is not doing anything. Okay, it's like that. All right, so remember if your vocabulary is good, you're going to be benefited. Now you're going to be benefited in multiple ways, not just while writing the prefix, but if you are able to understand certain words in the main passage, you can simplify it in your pressing and make it shorter. Even that works out. Okay. So what we are going to do now is uh, we've had enough of the theory where uh, we've covered different points on certain do's and don'ts, how you should have good vocabulary, how you should have good linking words, and how you should have certain uh, other coherent devices with which you can frame a good pressing. Okay. But this is only 20% of the job done because all the all these are uh, very easy to say, but very difficult to do. Okay, I completely understand. So therefore, what we should do is we should start practice. So now I'm going to give you a practice set, go through it, and then type done on the box if you have done it. Okay, and then after that, I'm, I will be giving you a clue as well. You can use that. Here you go. This is the first paragraph that you have. Can we use some, some words you can use? So some words you can use, but try to paraphrase. Even if you're using the words, try to play around with it. Okay. Here you go. So you are going to convert this into a 30 word para. Okay. And I'm going to give you exactly three and a half minutes or so. Okay. So I'm starting a timer on my mobile phone here and I'm going to give you three and a half minutes. Let's go. And you have to type the entire phrase on the comments box. Okay. And but please feel free to type. No, uh, it's okay to not get the perfect answer. We are, I'm here to help you. You're here to learn. So don't worry about not being able to make the perfect effort, okay? Let's go, three and a half minutes. And while typing, you can just use short forms, okay? Just say SCR, okay? For Cerlopalli, just type C, CH. For Oblivarapalli, just type OB. Krishna Patam, just type KR port. And once you have sent, I'll also go through your particular pressing and I'll try to give you some very quick feedback, okay? After three and a half minutes, I'll open the hint screen so you can take some hint. If you're facing any difficulties in the process, just put it on the box again and I'll again help you. Okay. So getting stuck somewhere, you don't know how to start anything of that sort. Just let me know. Not a very tough one though. It's highly factual in nature. So if it's factual, it's going to be easier for you to pick out the main ones, the important ones. Very good, Prajakta. Yes, good, Prajakta. But the only thing is it's a bit too small. Just try to elaborate a little bit. Very good attempt, Prajakta. Very nice. So good. So the example that we talked about at the beginning of the class, you are saying that India beat New Zealand by two wickets. Okay. Now you have to make it a little bigger. So you have to just talk about the man of the match as well, so that you write for thirty words. Okay, I'm going to open the hint screen, all right, where I'm where I have highlighted certain important information and this will give you uh, a way ahead if you're stuck at the beginning, 
this particular hint screen will give you a better perspective. Hello, Ashvika Bansal. Good morning. Okay, everyone start typing, start sending your answers now. Even if it is incomplete, just, just send it. Let me see how you have approached this. Very good, Kumar has, uh, success, su has succeeded to fix. Okay, uh, good. Okay, good. Very good question, Chaitanya. So see, are, are all of you able to understand Chaitanya's question? So Chaitanya is asking, why is cost not important? So here I have highlighted certain words in red. He's asking, why not total cost then? Okay, what's the, uh, why is that not important? You have highlighted the red one. Why not the blue one? Good. I'm just going to answer that. Good morning, along. Yeah, Prajakta. Good. Better brother. Yes, better Prajakta. Very good. Okay, see. Uh, the cost is, yeah, Rohan SA has added another milestone where, say, at, which is longest in its category. Nice, Rohan. Very good. Nice one. Very good. See, now I would not put cost here because now see, it's it's again subjective. Okay. It's not that you will be wrong if you don't put the cost because you have to make it concise. So you need to make, you need to take some calls on which, which would be important with and which is less important. Now, there is some hint that tells you that the the distance is more important. The 6.6 .6 kilometer, that is more important than the cost. Can you identify the hint that 6.6 .6 kilometer data is more important than the 460 crore data? Meanwhile, I'm just reviewing others. Ria Malvia, is there another feather so that uh, has built some grammar errors, Ria, but very good. Good. Okay. Tanya Sharma, I said, I see another management processing. The good Tanya, good. Wow. Sohan, a longest. A longest, okay, don't say a, just type the, because it's longest. Raj Verma, okay, but Raj Verma, you're adding uh, new information as India is moving forward. That is, that becomes your opinion, okay? So that's what we discussed at the beginning. Just take care of that. Okay, can anyone point, point that out? That why 6.6 .6 kilometer data is more important than 460 crore data? Why? It's, it's crucial that you identify these little clues that are there in the passage. Ria Malvia, yes, yes. Uh, so Ria, you should not add, has added another my, another feather, another milestone. That's not important. Okay, good. It's part of OV line became an important connectivity between KP and Hinterland. Good, good aspirant. Now I'll tell you why you, you can actually reduce something more. Yes, very good. Tanya, Rohan. The clue is in the word longest. Okay, so longest is a superlative, yes, which means it is better uh, than anything else, right? It's longer than any other uh, tunnel. So when I'm saying longest, that's why you have a clue that 6.6 .6 is the priority. What is the cost later? Okay, so that's how you're going to prioritize that this is more important than the other one. Okay, now many of you have given good answers and I will not say uh, that whatever I have written is the right answer as such, it's one of the right answers, okay? So see, this is how I will put it. Operations of the longest electrified tunnel of 6.6 .6 in this line began in full scale due to which, so see, one small connector due to which can reduce your entire uh, size, okay? Yeah, due to which Krishnambatnam port is now well connected for freight services. Now see, when you're talking about electrified tunnel, right? When you're talking about electrified tunnel began in full scale, all this, it is a rail network. Now, when it is a rail network, if you say hinterland, the meaning of hinterland is the land within. Okay, so it's a port, which means, of course, the one side is the sea, the other side is the hinterland, the land within. Okay, so when you're talking about the railway line, the longest electrified tunnel was built between this place and this place, you can eliminate the word hinterland and say it is well connected for freight services. That's all. Okay, are you getting why you can eliminate hinterland? See, other words that I eliminated has added another feather in its cap. Okay, has got one more achievement. Why is that important? Okay, 
not in one line ashwatha you have to write for 30 words okay so the game is from 90 you have to bring it to 30 here you have to take some decisions on which to eliminate and which to keep so are you understanding just give me a yes on the box if you understood the following points why added another feather in the cap this is not important why total cost of 460 crore yes pressy word limit will be given come on okay good rohan why total cost of 460 crore this is less important okay next when i say thereby opening hinterland this can be removed okay this time is part of the recently completed all these can be removed okay line was completed last week so basically i am talking about the superfluous data now that two there were two test trains that happened and then the operation started the bottom line is the operation started okay so i eliminated those that is what that is how you need to arrive okay good good a lot of you got it right a lot of you are trying all of you very good job if you have, if you have put your answer you are uh, in the, on your path to improve okay so good job okay let's do another one okay all right this is uh, from a this is slightly political in nature but of course just for our improvement all right it is uh, not for any other reason okay here you go you have the next passage we are going to do the same drill now by chalopuli and rapuru station because the focus is more on the line so i've told this is the line okay and instead of saying the total cost between this and this you can write it but because i spoke about this particular line i didn't have to talk about that again because this particular line has uh, the two stations also in mind okay yes mostly it is one third roughly one third concern the word limit will be given okay but you can have a 400 word passage where they ask you to uh, concise it to 120 150 depends okay riya your question what's your question riya i didn't get your question why yeah i answered right yeah okay all right the next one is coming up on your screen 3.5 minutes time starts now let's go And if you're facing difficulties, if you're getting stuck, ask me. Okay. And for all the names of cities, states, towns, villages, just type M A R A J H. Okay. You not like a chop? Just type L K. Let's go. One and a half minutes up. You should be in your typing process now. You should have already decided which one is more important and which ones are less important. Now, passages like these will also test you how you can refrain from adding your opinion. Okay, it's very tempting to give your opinion here. Okay, because it's a politically heavy passage, right? So there is a good chance that. without knowing you might put in your opinion so just be careful two and a half minutes up
Oke. Okay. Just put in your points and I uh, what I'll do is that uh, I'll try to review every one, okay? So that you can also gain from what the comments I'm giving to others. So Chaitanya giant L C D screen. Careful, Chaitanya. Your small info change. It's L E D screen displaying double digit growth in flooded is a cruel joke. Okay, okay, good, Chaitanya. But uh, you should avoid a lot of phrases that from the passage itself. Okay, but the you're using the adjectives well in flooded lacquer shop market. So that was very good way of summarizing uh, almost three sentences that's been mentioned in the main passage. So good job done there. But is a cruel joke, that's again uh, uh, just a phrase that you can avoid and you can add other information. Why is it a, a cruel, cruel joke? Okay. Mounted on a truck at a remote village in there, showed. Okay. Showed, showed, okay. I showed how the double digit. Of NMR center in Adi government state. Okay. Has taken. So just use has taken so one. Just take care of your tenses. Otherwise, it's a very uh, safe uh, receipt. No errors as such, Sohan. Good job. You're stuck to the ex exactly relevant points. Good. Tribal village center. So you can all refer to Sohan's write up. Okay, it's uh, only the last one can be has taken, but otherwise, exact relevant points are just put in. So, good job done there. Ruhi, tribal village center attraction giant LED screen. Okay, that's a bit wordy, Ruhi. You can change the start. So, you need not have center attraction. Okay, a giant LED screen in MH, comma, a tribal village runs video clips on growth, shows PM. PM and CM reaching your PM and CM uh, imparting new heights to the state, taking new heights. Okay, imparting can be a good word. Taking states to the state to the new height. Ashvika Bansal, good word. Ironically, very good start. The center of attraction, even on a floody day, is the LED screen. Amazing, amazing. So once again, everyone refer to Ashvika Bansal's write up. Very, very good. Okay, good job. Kumar, the giant screen has been one of the cruel jokes as shown how to double work in Jharkhand. Good, good attempt, Kumar. But avoid the phrases cruel joke, okay? Double edge and good because all these are just phrases to add some imagery in your mind, okay? You don't need that in your pressing. Pressing is just come to the target point straight away. As per in 2020, tribal village Moho of Jharkhand was hit by floods and an and a LED screen in a nearby village shows the current. Okay, good aspirin 2020. But aspirin, what you have to keep in mind is you need to show this irony. Okay, that this was hit by floods, but then without doing anything for that, there is a giant LED screen that is displaying achievements, right? So you have to show this comparison. Okay, they are not two independent events, right? So you can say something like, despite being hit by floods, okay, or you can say instead of action, uh, instead of action being taken for to counter uh, or in terms of flood measures, a giant LED screen simply displays achievements. Okay, so use these words now, use these linking devices. Are you understanding now how you can use your structures instead of despite, in spite of, all these will come here. Give me a yes if you're able to understand this. Yeah, I'm going to check everyone's and give uh, feedback. Okay. Okay. Sila Ditya Sahu. Uh, M tribal village of Jharkhand severely hit by flood. Okay, was severely hit. The main attraction of this village is a giant screen which rolls. Okay, is a joke. Okay, so uh, Siladitya, some tense problems are there. Uh, your sentences are not complete. Your helping verbs here and there you're missing. So everyone, please take care that your grammar is equally important. You cannot, um, uh, you know, you cannot for forget the grammar element uh, when you're searching of uh, concise sentences. Okay, because end of the day, this is an English exam, right? So you have to get your grammar right. But good, Siladitya, overall. Remember to connect them. Remember to show this difference. Okay. Ria Malvia. Okay. M, a tribal village in Ranchi hit by floods. 
the near market the, the market near village in lakatrok is the center for rain swept for rain swept mounted on truck and a video okay so again ria it's not coming out very clearly please express the contrast use word like despite in spite of instead of use all these okay tanya sharma why floods hit in ranchi okay okay why floods hit in ranchi attention is caught by okay so it's a, a attraction is caught okay it's a bit wordy and uh, it sounds a bit unnecessary you can remove attraction is caught by just come to the point straight away okay use uh, active voice itself there okay okay mrit enjoy once goes by in lakat shock most closest market in lakat shock where a giant led screen running a small video showing how okay okay so now one more error that i'm able to see from many of your entries good job mrityunjay good job uh, is that um, some subordinating clauses when you are using right you have to complete the whole sentence you are leaving it open okay for example it should be mahua's close closest market in lakatra where a giant led screen is mounted shows this 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 okay it should complete fully it should be completed what many of you are doing you are saying lakatra which is one of the uh, markets here we showing this is this and then the sentence stop showing this is after that what what is happening use the verb and complete okay you are using subordinating clauses to refer back to the subject but you have to close the sentence with a verb right that is not happening okay are you all understanding what i'm trying to say about how you should close your sentences you should not leave it open with a subordinating clause okay so if i say abhishek who teaches english who is taking this class from 11 am and i can't stop there i should complete okay is talking about pressy writing today it should complete it should get completed yes everyone just give me a yes because after having uh, done all the hard work of choosing your sentences if you if you lose marks in framing incorrect sentences then uh, that's a very uh, unfortunate way of losing your score right so pick out the sentences but then that's that's only 50% of the job done now you have to express it in correct language with the right uh, subordinating clauses okay okay now um, all of you now this is okay i'm also going to show you my little this thing it's it's kind of the same it is ironic so a lot of people use this and then instead of so these two uh, words itself give me a good perspective now after that it, it becomes easy after that it's all fact okay but change your words a little bit like say simply sing praises okay that will give you uh, so an edge over just repeating uh, this this particular phrase you know just repeating how the double engine grows how it simply sings praises of okay that will help you so now tell me in the same passage okay just want to drive home the point a little more that in the same example what kind of structures can you use i just want you to type so that you will remember it and you will take this home i said instead of so here because you have to do a comparison give me a few structures like instead of what else can you use as structures even if you don't just type it on the box so that you will remember it and uh, you will take it home they very quickly tell me as a parting thought i want you to take these words with you so that you will use it in your pressing one option is instead of this i am doing a compare and contrast as compared to yes when compared to in comparison to yes kumar these are some options what are some of the other options that we can have in spite of very good tanya despite okay for but with despite you will not have of simply despite good tanya very good beyond okay besides very good sohan besides can be used moreover despite although yet in spite of very good ashvika very nice very nice okay so when you use these words you might think all right these are all extra words why should i use them right but then when you use one word it gives you such a good direction to your pressy that a lot of other words will reduce okay so with one it's like an investment you put it you use invest in one such linking word of despite in spite of and then you will get returns in terms of reducing a lot of words okay all right rather good raj very nice 
all right so this is how you're going to be doing pressy i hope you remember all these points uh, do do revise so this recording is going to be up do revise now a very important point and something that uh, i want you to do now for me and that is please take the quiz okay there is a little quiz that we have prepared for you it covers just basic strategies approaches to what you should do when you're writing a pressy so just take that small 10 question quiz uh, it will hardly take you about 5 10 minutes but once again, it will get drilled down in your Could you take letter writing RC also? Sure, aspirant, we'll plan that out. Okay. All right. So that is how you should be going about. Please do the quiz so that all the strategies, approaches are now in your head and you will not forget them. Second point is that we dis discussed a lot of theory and we did some basic practice. Okay. But you have to practice more. Keep doing practice. Chaitanya, which test? So, uh, Chaitanya, your Chaitanya is one of our advanced uh, members. So, Chaitanya, please send a mail to hello at iexambi.com uh, and then we'll help you out. Okay. There's there's no link. It'll come on the video description. If if not, it'll come. Okay. 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 Very nice. All right then. Glad that uh, if you like the session, do revise. Uh, this is going to be up. The recording is going to be there. Is there any? Test to attempt for pressing, no test as such, it'll just be a, a strategy quiz. Okay, that's all. All right, then, uh, take care, everyone. Um, keep practicing, that's very important. Okay, especially with a, a, um, a question type like pressy, practice is what is going to take you far. Okay, 20%, all of you got it, the rest 80%, it's time to practice and reach. Okay, so all the best, everyone. Take care, bye bye, stay safe, bye bye.